Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to do a quick video here, uh, not really an unboxing, but somewhat. I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing and uh, go over some information on actually how to magnetize these guys here. So, um, I'm just going to pull out the sprues. If anybody's watched any of the other videos or information online on these guys, you'll know that there's three separate sprues in here. Um, three unique sprues, uh, able to build the uh, Centurions and some. Centurion Devast uh, Devastators and Assault um, guys, big thick booklet on how to do everything. So um, yeah, like I said, I just want to go through uh, some information on these guys on how to uh, magnetize them because uh, they're a not cheap and b uh, going to be situational for different armies, especially if you're allying them in. Um, so you're going to want to uh, kit them out with melee or ranged weapons depending on what you do. These work especially well with um, Imperial Fist rules, they get tank hunters um, on there, um, and uh, bolters real ones, so if you have uh, heavy bolters on them then it works out because that uh, applies to the special rule, but in general they're probably going to be decked out uh, if they're devastators with LAS cannons and missile launchers, but yeah, so those are the individual sprues and you can see a whole lot but what I'm going to do is read through some of the instructions here come up with a good way to magnetize uh, all the weapons on the arms um, then I'm going to do up a video on how to um, paint these guys up especially the airbrushing um, best way to have them apart uh, to do the various airbrushing techniques on certain parts of the body before putting them together and then getting them together and getting the rest of the coats on so back in a bit hey everyone I'm back um, so what I've done is I got the number of the weapons cut off the sprues here uh, heavy bolters the drill grab them this is the uh, grab amp um, I have the two arms here in the middle so what I've done I've already done one of these here um, just wanted to make sure everything worked out before I was going through and filming it. But uh, yeah, so to start with what I've done is uh, I drilled a hole here and here, put uh, 1 16th magnets in it. And since these are the weapons I'll be using the least, I started with the drills. And what I've done is again, um, 1 16th holes here, as you can see, there and there. Um, this allows me to take the weapon. This is the way it sits on the, or sorry, this is the way it sits on the arm, and plop it on. As you can see, holds good. A little bit of gap uh, at the back there. These um, probably just sunk these in just a little bit more, but um, first attempt. So um, the next one, I'll fix it up a little bit, and if I need to, I'll come back and do this one. As well as these guns here, the flamer for the outside, uh, flamer and uh, melta gun um, can go on the outside. The melta gun, as you can see, uh, has a little circle right there. And uh, what I did to save myself some time was instead of drilling a hole, I just stuck a magnet on there where the that little nublet was. Got the magnet there, so boom. Attach it onto the side and swap it in and out with the melta gun as needed. So, for those of you that are going to be using the siege drills, so what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of what I did. Um, it's a bit hard to drill holes on camera, so I'll probably do that off camera. Um, but I'll show you how I lined the holes up. So, basically, here, um, took the this is the siege drill here. It was in two parts. Actually, I should mention something here that I really liked about this kit. These holes in the barrels, I did not have to drill. Um, there's a part that glues on the outside of this grav gun. Barrel's already done. Laz gun, same thing. It's not quite lined up, so I'll drill it out a little bit to line it up. Um, and the heavy bolter, same thing. Already taken care of. So, which is nice. So, but basically to start, here is the drill. 
and I know roughly where I want the hole to be in the drill in the part uh, hard to show right here it's basically where I want the hole to be drilled and you're not really sure where it's going to line up on the arm when you set it in there so there's a little bit of play so the best way that I've found to do this is to take this piece and, uh, extra little bowl that I used for some liquid gold some paint and a fine brush here and just find this piece find the center of it just put a little dot with the paint now you're going to be drilling through this remember but we want enough paint there that's going to transfer to your other spot so it puts down grab the arm Fit everything together right there. Just gonna hold it for a second, make sure there's no play. Everything's lined up. So that's where that hole is going to be. Now I also am going to need to do another hole. So let's do this at the same time. Again, liberal with the paint. And the same deal. Let's put it together so it's in the spot you want it to be in. Push it together. And you can see on there, we have where the hole is going to be. So this is going to be rough. We don't really need this to be exact. So, yeah. What I'm going to do, I'll try to drill this out on camera. Not that any of you need to see drilling a hole. I may edit it out later. But you want to make sure you don't go too deep in here. You really, depending on how deep your your um, magnets are, mine are 1 16th deep, 1 16th wide. So that's roughly how deep I'm trying to go here. And then do the same thing here. In the gun. Just be careful going in, you don't want to go through here. I mean, I guess if you did, you could just green stuff it up on the other side so it wouldn't be a disaster. But it's definitely easier to not have to do that. So, you can see there, two holes. I may not have chose the uh, best color here for showing up on the camera, but you can see the purple dots there. It's always best to go in a little bit, or I found it's best to go in a little bit. And then backwards, check it, and a touch more backwards. That way you're not going too deep. Uh, without, without giving it a check. So, and same here. This part's a little bit delicate in terms of you don't really want to go on the outside of the arm. Or the magnet will show through by the outside. I mean, you don't want to go through it there. This probably could have been done a little closer to the front as well, but I actually preferred doing it back there just based on how delicate some of the weapons were uh, up at the front for attaching them. So that's how it will go together. Well, we got the magical drill out. Um, we'll show how the melt again goes on here. I made sure I. Oh, that's the flamer. So I can make sure I got the melt for the other side so I could show. So you can see how this goes on, just like that. So. The little part that sticks out here is a little bit smaller on this guy, so I am going to drill it out.
on this, but I uh, did the same process with the paint here. Just on this, okay, right there. And let's put it in so it's in the right spot. Squeeze it together. Purple dot there. And now we drill this out. Again, somewhat delicate, but not an exact science with this hole here. As long as it's roughly in the same spot. These aren't heavy pieces. They're not, there's no worry of them being too much weight for the piece, not to mention the side bits here on this melt gun are going to stop it from rotating from side to side. So I'm just gonna drill this guy out now. Try the squeaking of my drill. It's good. So now trick to making sure we have everything right. I have this, uh, I don't know, it's an old piece of sprue here. I have an S which has been mutilated numerous times and it hardly looks like an S on one end and an M on the other end because something I used before began with an M and the other part began with an S and I wanted to make sure the polarity was right on these here. So I have some magnets here. So what I did before was, since the M upside down was a W, I made sure that went into the weapon parts, the S parts went into the arm. So what I'm going to do is put some glue in the arm. I'm going to separate these so they're only one a piece. Tiny little pieces here. This will make my life easier later for picking these up. So they're all set aside there. So I know I want an S in this gun, an M there, there and there, and then the two S's there. So I'm going to start by doing the S's. What I do is get a little bit of super glue here and put this in the holes. Just a tiny little dab. It's way more than enough, so just put them in. That's way too much there. Came out. Wipe it off with my finger, even though now my finger is going to stick to everything, just make sure I wipe it off good. So now I take my handy tool here, get the S, pick up one magnet, stick it in the hole. That's why I can take it, push it in. that one after I need to drill a hole a little bit better so go with the next S guy here so this one basically we take it put it in the hole push it in as far as we can and then we slide the tool to the side as you can see that puts it right even going to repeat the same thing here again you're gonna get glue on your fingers doing this you're like getting glue on your fingers doing this is not for you Actually is in way deeper than I want it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick another one on top of that guy so 
So as you can see, this isn't an exact science. As I just did one of these, and I've made a little mistake by going too deep there. Now, the other thing as well to keep in mind is that it can get accelerant for the super glue. So when you put it on, it would you'd squirt it on there and it would stick basically instantly. You wouldn't have to worry about dry time. Um, I find that it dries quick enough with these. So we're done. I'm gonna fix this guy right now. Belt the gun. So that's out of there now. Just gonna drill this out a bit better. I think uh, must be the edges from that little nub that was there maybe turned in or something. The other one, like I said, I just sliced it off and that was how I, I did it. So let's uh, make sure that this guy fits in here now. Yep, perfect. So let's pull that out again. glue and in we go so perfect now I just need to do the last three so now keep in mind oh, I don't know where those guys went probably stuck to something in here So now they're there. We're making sure that this time we're going with the M side for polarity. One drop of glue into each of these holes. And I'm going to put those in. And we'll be set. It's that easy. You basically can rinse and repeat this entire process on every other weapon. Once you have the arms done, it's uh, much easier. So, put this guy in, off to the side. That one worked well. That one in, flip it off to the side. So, I just want to push in a bit with my exacto knife, make sure he's in there, Pick off the excess. And, Last one right here. That one I'll definitely have to set properly with a knife. Hey, look at that. Zoomed in super close on my hand. I'm sure that's what you all wanted to see. So this one is not cooperating. Other. So before this glue sets, I'm going to get it out of here. Okay, so I'm going to get that piece fixed there. So now we can test how it all goes together on the arm. So, again, just like a touch off there, um, which is mainly going to be due to the fact that guy sticking out there. Once I sand the excess glue off, it should be a little more level. And then, 
and take our melt gun sorry arm in front of the camera there make everything go to focus melt gun over here and boom attach to the side so perfect again that little gap at the back is bugging me a bit so I'll end up sanding some stuff down and make that fit a bit better we're pretty pretty close to flat there maybe it can come out and get drilled out a little bit more put back in but all in all I'm pretty happy with that I mean saves a lot of time and money um, with having to build multiple ones and paint them I mean you know again very situational on how you're gonna use these guys so but basically to you know go forward with uh, magnetizing the remainder of the pieces I'm uh, just gonna go through the same process other than uh, now I know where the holes are gonna be drilled here so I'm just gonna put a dot of paint there a dot of paint on that one and then I will take the weapon and hold it in place and then transfer here you need to glue the holes remember that the M or W on my polarization tool matches the weapon put them in then I can swap uh, in and out all the weapons on all these guys whenever I want to so definitely think that guy is gonna need to come out and get drilled a little more but hope you found it useful um, Hopefully tomorrow I'll have one of these guys basically put together and we'll go through the process of uh, airbrushing. This is the sprue that I was using here and um, you, know, you can see the leg bits. I may try to um, do something with repositioning some of the legs and putting the armor on because I'm not a huge fan of the stiff legged look here. Um, a couple of them have bent legs or one of them I think has bent legs as a model but I may uh, take a stab at repositioning. So, hopefully see you tomorrow. Hope you found this video useful. Uh, like it. Any comments, suggestions, uh, you know, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.